Hi, I'm Mario Correa, and I'm a wills and trusts attorney. A lot of times I get the question is, what is the legal process with my assets at my death? And in order to understand the legal process, you really have to understand how assets are owned. And it's through a documentation or a piece of paper. For example, a house, and I'll draw one here for you, is owned by, as you all know, um, by a deed. A car is a registration at the Secretary of State and that'll tell us who the owner is. Or if we're talking about a bank account, remember how you go to the bank and you um, open an account, you sign a document. That's a deposit agreement. So that agreement, these will tell us who the owner is. So we look at these underlying documents and it'll tell us who the owner is. That'll tell us what happens at death. We first look at these underlying documents and see if there's a beneficiary designation. Most of the time there's not, so then we go to the next step, which is to see if there's a will. If there's no will, then what we do is we have to go intestate. An intestis, intestacy is basically a will that the state creates for you. In either case, when we're dealing with a will or we're dealing in intestacy, we're in court. We're in probate court. Now I'm going to tell you the costs associated with probate court in our next video.